Hi, I'm Jessica Blackburn. I'm the Chief Manager at Crown Paving. I've been in the asphalt industry for over five years now. No, I mean, I've never really felt like an outsider. Um, I feel like I was blessed to be raised by some strong women and uh, a deep background in small businesses and blue collar work businesses. Um, my, my dad owned a drilling and blasting company while I was growing up. My aunt owned a power line construction company. My grandparents owned our local um, auto repair station. So, you know, I'm no stranger to getting dirty and showing up every day for work. Um, so I feel like um, kind of growing up in that environment taught me to, again, just show up for people. And um, thankfully, that's what, what I bring to my job every day. And, and, I, and I haven't received a lot of pushback from the men I work with. I think they, they are, are respectful and um, respect what, what value I bring and how I impact their lives and um, how I can make their lives easier um, in a lot of ways and how I want the best for them. So um, I, I do feel lucky that, that I haven't received a lot of pushback in the industry. What really excites me most is the opportunity to grow a business and create something sustainable for the next generation. Um, I, every day um, I think about, are we doing the right things um, for our employees? Are we doing the right, are we creating the right processes to, to have this business in place for the next generation? Honestly, that's what excites me is, is the unknown each day and creating something that creates jobs in our community and, and gives other people an opportunity to grow, gives me an opportunity to share what I know um, with the folks around me, with people in my community, um, and then also the final product, you know, seeing what we were capable of at the end of the day. Um, I would say that it drives me crazy when I hear people talk about how this is how we've always done it. So I do feel like there is a little stigma in the industry of kind of being a good old boys industry. And again, this is how we've always done it. So I, I always like to, to follow that up with, well, have we thought about why we did it that way? Have we thought about, is there a better way to do it? Or have we thought, have we even asked everyone on the crew, Hey, do you think this is the most efficient way to go about it? I mean, you know, or have we used data to inform those decisions or have we just done it because that's what um, somebody else did or that's what our old foreman did or that's what, um, you know, that's what we, that's how I was taught. So that's why we do it. Um, so I really tried to, to challenge that thinking in, in, in every facet of, of our business and in, um, in growing our business. I mean, I would say experience and, and how you can parlay that experience into other things. So uh, just asphalt industry or not, I always encourage young women that I meet to get internships when they're in high school, job shadow. Um, you know, that's part of one of the community things that I do um, with our economic development board is set up um, job shadowing opportunities. So uh, high schoolers in our community can be exposed to different industries and understand how those industries work. And I think that the more experience they have, you know, that one internship on your resume in college, you know, that you spent that summer um, interning instead of maybe, you know, just hanging out with your friends is, is going to take you to that first opening of the job that needed one to three years of experience, or it's going to take you to, um, in that job with one to three years of experience, it's going to take you to it, you're going to meet executives there. They're going to see your work ethic. They're going to see that you show up every day, that you're willing to do anything, willing to do whatever it takes. And then that they're going to promote you or another company is going to see the great things you're doing there and they're going to recruit you. So I think that um, for me in the asphalt industry, it was just getting that experience, right? It was soaking up every moment I had, um, you know, out in the field or with other executives or other women in businesses and, um, that experience and that network is what has led to every opportunity for me. And it, it's kind of interesting how it, how it all um, informs, each opportunity has informed itself or has informed the next one or has built on the, on the last one. So, and it all started, you know, I did an industrial um, 
almost like an in, industrial marketing internship where I was um, researching, you know, uh, different pest controls for, for the, these big industrial warehouses and learning about their properties. And, um, you know, it's not a sexy summer to do that, but that internship, um, you know, led me to a network and, and a reference for my next job. And then that next job, you know, I was recruited by the next person and all, you know, all the while I'm, you know, gaining as much experience, taking every learning opportunity, signing up for every class that I can, um, knowing that I want to own my own business one day and, and building that network and, and trying to gain those experiences that will hopefully help me continue to sustain my business. I would want my career to be defined by hustle, reputation, and kindness. So, um, you know, I, I would say my family motto is hustle. I expect everyone in my life to be hustling every day. You know, we just, we don't have downtime. Um, we, uh, we just expect a lot. And that's, you know, that's what I tell my children. And, um, you know, and that's what, you know, going back to giving advice to folks is you know, don't be lazy. You know, nothing's going to be handed to you and um, nothing's going to be easy and nothing that's easy is worth having typically in my experience. So um, that, that hustle mentality, you know, I want to, I want to hustle so I can, I can ensure that my company grows and I want to hustle so I can ensure people have jobs. I want to hustle so I can have plenty of opportunity to, to speak life into other people. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, reputation goes, I mean, that, that speaks for itself. Like, you're not going to be in business very long. You're not going to have a job very long if you have a bad reputation. I mean, people don't want to work with you if you have a bad reputation. You want to be known for quality work. You want to be known for reliability. Um, you want to manage your reputation. You know, you want to protect that. You don't want to um, do anything to jeopardize that. Um, you know, your name and your reputation, especially, um, I don't know if it's like this in other parts of the country, I only operate in Tennessee, but in Middle Tennessee, you know, it's a small knit community of folks that do the asphalt work that we do, and um, it's a friendly community, but you, you want to carry a good reputation, you know, you want to get that repeat business, you want to get referrals, um, I want to be known, I want my reputation to be known as someone who helps others, so in my network and in my county, um, I want to be known as folks that, that turn to us, you know, when they need advice on their, their driveway or their parking lot or their business or um, even, you know, in, in, our, in my friendships, you know, I want to have a good reputation. And then um, kindness, um, you know, it's not always easy. And, and I feel like even more so lately that, that we've been very reflective um, in this, this strange economy and time of, how we can be kind to one another and um, just be known for kindness. I actually made kindness a standard conduct at our, our company. So when you interview with me or when, you, when you're when you hired on or you could be written up for being unkind um, because I, I feel like that that's creating an environment where folks want to be. They want to be around other people that are kind and that treat them with respect. Um, and I want folks to, to know that there's something different about us and I think that that difference is, is that kindness. I would want folks to remember me um, as living a life of kindness and you know showing um, you know I honestly want to make sure my faith is shown through my work and my my everyday right so I, I don't I don't want I want folks to look back and and remember, um, remember me and how I handled situations and how I um, presented myself in the good times and the bad. And hopefully that, you know, reflected in that is, is, is that I'm, I'm a Christian. Um, I want to be authentic. And I feel like I, had, I really wanted to say, I really wanted to say, I heard my preacher say a few weeks ago um, that we want folks to look at us like we lived life in a manner worthy of the gospel. And um, I'm not sure if this is a forum where it's a, you know, where it's appropriate to come out and, and talk about faith, but I, I want to be able to live a life where I don't have to talk about my faith, where folks just see it 
in my actions and how I operate a business and how I conduct transactions and how I treat those around.